My task is the door. So what we're doing with this door is we put the frame around it. So you can see the frame is a bit wider. In fact, I'll show you there. It's a bit wider than the door. A bit, not wider, wider narrower. That's the right word, narrower than the door. So when the door shuts on it, it's got a better seal. Because it's sealed from the outside now. There's like these seals on the top. But there's a slight gap. And then what we're going to do is build a frame on this door as well about 50 mil so we can put some insulation on it and cut it in half, half-ish, around there somewhere so we can have the barn door and then we've got to put another bracket on, we've got one bracket we need another bracket for the top so that's my plan so the joy of any construction work or building work especially vans, of what we found, is there's always a change of plan so come with me so with this door it's got like seals on it so when the door shuts it seals onto this so I'm taking these off to give them a bit of a clean so you can see there I've took that one off just to check behind and if you come down here with me move my steps come down here ooh, you'll notice this annoyance is rot so in there there's no wood and you can see it's literally just falling out, look. And that's wood rot. Yay. So, we can't keep this door. <laughs> it's all right at the top, but water must be getting in these bits here. It's like a rail that fits over the door. So water must be getting in from the top, running down and literally just sitting. So wood's okay kind of outdoors if it's treated because the water will run off and it will dry um, obviously prolonged water will rot it but this with the rail at the bottom here which I've taken off the water has obviously been sat in there and over time it's rotted <sighs> so yes that's another job we need to do <laughs> keep smiling and carry on <laughs> That took a while. <laughs> I've done some scribbling, done some calculating. Um, yeah, I've never made a, front, a new door before, especially a front door to a home. So, hence why there's lots of scribbling and doodling and everything. We're going to add, that's going to be the door itself. And then I've just drawn out the buttons. We're going to use this. So it's 47 by 47 square. Um, so we're going to use that to actually make the frame I'm going to use a 50mm ply and then this is going to go on top so this will be the supports kind of inside so it's going to be, look a bit like a shed door I suppose uh, with a bit 50mm ply so yeah let's get cracking so here we are halfway there so we've done so the plywood is the original door now slightly bigger actually we're making it slightly bigger to fill the gaps around the door a bit more um, and then we've left enough gap for the frame to sit around the edge. So as this closes, this part here will shut onto the frame itself. So you can see the width of the door from here to here. And then this is the framework. So we've got, it's about 30 mil, I think, 25, 30 mil of wood there. So our frame will sit inside this and the plywood will go onto that with a just a bead of um, like rubber seal on it. So now I've got to do this part here. So we just put like a centerpiece just for strength. And that's super strong. So I'm gonna do that again, there.
built a door. Kind of looks like a really cool jazzy table. See, we've got plywood and then this is a piece of perspex on top, so it's waterproof. And then this is Sikaflex adhesive and sealant. And we've caked it. We kind of wish we painted white now so you didn't see it, but we quite like it. It's quite jazzy. And then we've reused the old seal. There's, there is little gaps in it which we'll fill in. It's not a problem, but then, yeah, there's the door. So now, hopefully, that fits in that hole. Ready? And then we have it, a door. It's a jazzy door, but it's a door. And in fact, as you see who's inside. Hello? <laughs> there she is. So yeah, we have a door. It's hung, it works. There it is. Hang on, keep going back. There is our new door. And we've got a bit there, you can see that's not joined with the supports because we're going to cut it in half. So we're going to cut it there. We need to get a new bra another one of these brackets though first to put here. So obviously once the door's cut there, that top bit's going to hang, otherwise it's not going to hang properly. So we've already got those two there. So wait for this bracket to arrive and then we can slice and be a barn door. Um, yeah, we've secured it with big bolts and we've put this, I don't know what it is, like a door, industrial door seal, we've put that back on. It didn't actually fit when we first hung it, it was a bit too big, so we had to trim it down a little bit, but it's, uh, it's quite tight. Oh, there's a, you can see there like a rubber seal so it's quite once it's shut it's quite tight bye but yeah we have a big fancy sealed door lovely good day all it's easter monday so we're both full of chocolate so we're having we're trying to do jobs that are a bit less labor intensive that makes me feel a bit sick a bit less labour intensive. Um, so Nemi's doing this door. Again, it looks like a table. But we have an old door that's come out of, well, we found it in mother's garage, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. And asked her politely if we could use it. And she said, yes, so we're using it. But it's got glass in, so we've got to take the beading off, take the glass out, rub it down because it's painty. But yeah, it's all right, because it's already got like a mechanism in it the hole for the mechanism, so we just need to buy a lock, and it's got hinge holes, so we just need to buy, it. we've got hinges for it. Um, so Nemi's doing this, and I'm going to finish this floor. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for our Easter Monday, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody.
So the floor's going down nicely. So you see this is 15 mil plywood here on top. And what you can see as well, right, as well as the long beams, we've gone front to back. We've also got little buttons going across. Now we've only got those in where the ply meets. So obviously the next piece of ply on here is gonna sit on there as well. Cause that's like a weak point at the edge of the ply. So you can see that one there, there's a join. So we've run little ones along there as well. Little buttons and they're the same height as these. So obviously that bit of wood can rest on there. Because if you tread on this end here, this end will be weaker than in the middle. So put little buttons in. Um, and we've also put little ones just off cuts. Little bits by where the back door is going to be. Um, little bits there. And we've left a piece there. That's purely for coming in. So if we'd have obviously built this up here, it would be quite a big step to get in, obviously higher than it already is. Um, so what we've done is left a piece big enough for feet, and we're just gonna put a piece of wood in to make it flat and then put a mat in so you can brush your feet before you walk in the van. Um, yes, yeah, so that'll be handy. Little brushing area, but obviously you want that to be a bit lower so it's more of a step to get in. But yeah, you can see how it's coming on. So I've just got that piece there, which I've notched little bits out for to fit round these noggins. So we can, I'm gonna slide that piece in now. And then the flooring is done. Hurrah! Flooring is done. Looks amazing. So yeah, it's only 50 mil ply, but it's perfect. We've still got a bit of headroom. Oh, quite a bit of headroom actually. So that is good. Yeah, wonderful. Now we're not fixing these down yet. We are, we've purely just put these in now, just so we can come in and carry on working in here rather than tripping over all the, obviously the beams that were in before. Um, plus it's another job done, cutting it. But the floor's gonna be insulated, so when the spray foam guys come to do the whole van, um, we'll take this flooring up, then they can spray foam. Then once that's dry, we can fix it for good. So I just thought I'd show you the head room which I have. So yeah, even though we've come down, you can see the ceiling there and which we've come down by. Obviously this is, this is square, whereas the ceiling's curved. And then the flooring is 47 mil battens plus 15 mil for the ply. So quick maths, you know, 60, 65 mil-ish. Um, but yeah, check the headroom, man. I mean, I'm six foot and I've got loads of room. I can even jump around. So yeah, that's, that's a bonus. I can even, I can even wear my slippers and not bang my head. Great. Completing the door. Oh no, that's your pre-complete. Yeah. Hello all. So I thought I'd do a bit of an end of day report on where we're at. 
So if it's your first time joining us on this video, welcome. And there's the back of the van now. We fitted the door today. So then we finished rubbing it down because it was coated in paint and varnish and all sorts of crap. So what we've done is rubbed it down so we can paint it and it's fitted. So let's go in. So it's hinged, it does stick. <laughs> Does stick on the ceiling, but we've got to cut it down. So, as you can see, ugh, sticks a bit there. So we're gonna we need to cut the top of the door down a little bit. Um, Cause obviously we're gonna put boarding on the ceiling, so we need a bit of a gap. But if it's perfect, otherwise, check it out. Bit of a gap beyond under the door, but that's fine for now. Um, yes, the door's hung, and we've what we've done. Let me spin you around. Um, as you can see, we've put four hinges. So we've got a hinge up here, one there, and you can see two more, that one and that one. And we've, the reason there's four is because we're cutting the door here to make a barn door. So we've hung the door as is. So obviously it's lined up and then all we've got to do, take it off, cut it there, and we'll have a barn door. And won't that be lovely? And currently there's a big gap here. So we've got a perspex in they're all jobs to do but it's all sanded and all nice so yeah you can see the back of the wall is in now it's looking a bit more like home so the next job we've got to do is make the two windows we're going to make the frames and put perspex in again um, a new door is in and the bed frame is all in so this bed frame is we've used these metal pieces are actually parts that were removed from the van originally so they they went across there and they were a bit of like a crash barrier so when they were loading the van up of stuff it didn't go through this panel because obviously that's that's only like 0.5 mil thick aluminium so yeah we've we did put wood in originally but it wasn't it was a bit dodgy to be honest so Peace of mind, and in case we both put a lot of weight on that needs to carry us, because two of us are sleeping up there, we've put um, aluminium in, and this stuff does not bend, which is amazing, and we've bolted it in there. So that's our bed frame. Yeah, so planning, we, we generally work all day on the van at the moment, while the weather's been amazing. It's not been raining or cold, it's been sunny, so we've made the most of it, and then Mid, mid to late afternoon and evening we work and kind of make plan for the van so we can stay ahead and stay on top of it. So that's really handy. So at least when we get up and work, we're not scratching our brains and thinking we know what we're doing. So it all works nice and smooth and it's very enjoyable. Um, so if, you've, if you're new to this conversion life and you're here to learn how to do it, get a van, convert it, it's brilliant. And we hope these videos are informative and helpful for you. Um, if there's anything you need or you'd like to know or to ask us, please drop a comment down there, wherever the button is. It's somewhere down here. Um, we'll answer as best we can. We're not conversion experts, but we've, this is our second conversion. Um, and yeah, we seem to do okay, I think. <laughs> Yeah, and the other thing we're trying to, um, the van is currently dubbed, we've named, well, current, sort of named the van as Van der Tramp. Our other's Van der Camp, this is Van der Tramp. And the reason we've got Tramp is because it's kind of made from reused materials, so we've been doing a bit of skip diving and rummaging and scrounging, and it's great fun. So currently the only wood we've actually brought is this wood, because we couldn't source it anywhere. We couldn't obviously steal it out of skips or anything. It needs to be straight and clean wood. And the other wood is the CLS timber. It's called CLS C16. So it's a certain type. It's like construction timber for stud walls, which is what this is. So this timber, which we needed to be straight and clean as well. Um, and obviously full lengths. We can get off cuts. We could find those, but not full lengths. So those, that's the bit we've brought. Um, but on literally everything else, there's a bit of CLS there. This is pallet wood here. 
Uh, that support is pallet wood, so is that one there. All this you see on the walls was originally attached to the van. So that is how it looked originally. So this was used to tie, when they would put furniture or whatever in the van, they tied it to this so it didn't roll around. And all we've done is cut this in half and used it there. So that's all free. Um, all the cladding on the back door we scrounged. So someone who'd obviously built a shed or something, we don't know, had loads of leftover stuff. So that was basically going to be firewood. So we rescued it from the fire and used it, which is handy and amazing. And then the plywood, it's brand new plywood. Um, but I did, I helped out someone, did a bit of work for someone. Um, and they paid me in plywood, which was amazing. Um, I didn't expect to be paid anyway, but they knew what we were doing and everything, and they just wanted to help out. And they bought us three sheets of clean, brand new plywood, which was amazing, quite lucky. And a good tip is don't be afraid to ask people to rummage in their skip. It might seem a bit trampy. <laughs> um, but especially, I've worked for builders in the past, independent builders, and they will be more than happy for you to go in the skip and take as much as you can. Because the more you take out, the more room they've got to fill and the less money they have to pay out for another skip. So if you can take all the stuff out of the skip, they will love you. Um, so just ask the question. It's not, you know, you just knock the door, ask the question. And not one person has said no to us for looking in skips. Um, it's better, always ask though, don't just go rummaging in a skip on someone's drive or, you know, just knock the door and tell them what you're doing. Um, so yeah, just ask the question, isn't it? But um, yeah, that's us. Nemi's painting today. I mean, she's trying not to get in a mess. She's painting the door. Oh, Nemi's painted the door. The door looks amazing. So she's painted, that's the external part of the door and done all the door frame as well. The same. Um, we're leaving the door off uh, for the insulation. Obviously in case anything gets on it. Um, she's done the windows as well. We've put window, like little um, window sills in. These are hardwood window sills. So they'll be a bit more water repellent. Um, a bit more hard wearing. We've had our bracket delivered. So before it was only that one, that one, and that one. But because we're cutting it into a barn door, we're cutting it about there. We can't just have the one hinge hanging it. So we've we ordered another hinge and we managed to find these hinges online. Um, so there's our new one. So yeah, we just fitted that. So then now this door's solid, we can cut it there and transform it into a barn door. So yeah, it's been a very, very productive day. So tomorrow, like I say, is insulation day. A team of guys are coming. I think there's two guys coming in a van and they will spray foam everything. So we've managed, we've got to prep it. So we're gonna get up super early in the morning and hoover and clean and take the flooring up. This is just placed down at the moment. But this has got to come up because the insulation is going underneath. Um, and that's it. I'm just going to have a clean up now. Um, so we're going to do a full video on insulation tomorrow. Very excited. A bit scared. But very excited because then at midday tomorrow we will have a completely insulated van. Happy days. So we'll see you next time.
Our van is insulated. Would you like to see? Ta-da! 